I think I'm going to take away the fact that uh, the diocese is willing to engage in the conversations, what I call the courageous conversations about things like contested area, heritage, um, about what does it mean to be a church that reflects all God's people. And even though there may not be obvious diversity where people are based, you know, we belong to a wider church, a global church, an Anglican communion. So um, it's incumbent on us to understand the stories of our church history and what that might mean to us now. So where do we, uh, what, what are the takeaways for us? Where do we go from here? So I have been approached by a couple of people who have said, I want to know more about our own stories of our churches and parishes. Um, another takeaway is just to be able to, to have those conversations and to notice who's around you. So who might be um, working in the health service or working um, in agriculture? Where are the communities that are, appear hidden? Um, and so giving people that insight because once you know, you can't unknow, you want to extend hospitality to various groups. And that means finding out about people and being available to them. So I, I think that's the next step, finding out what's going on, not just in your local area, but in your schools as well. Schools are very good places for people, younger people. One of the things we do know is that the population of those under 25, and particularly from diverse UKME, Global Majority Heritage backgrounds, is increasing quite significantly. So it seems to me that schools are a good place to start.